I've got a new document and I've set up my page. Now I'm ready to start typing. What I'd like you to type is what is your favourite food? If you didn't have to plan it, buy it or prepare it, it just happened, what's your favourite dish? And then press enter. If you could have something nice to drink, what would go well with that? What is your favourite drink? And press enter. Thirdly, if you could share that meal with any particular person and you could only choose one person, what would be the name of that person? And press enter. We've added some information to this document and I'd like to save this document. Never leave the saving until you've finished typing. Save regularly to minimise the chances of losing any information. To save, we've got a number of options. We could go to File in the ribbon, and we could choose Save. If I return to Home, alternatively, I could hit the Save button on my Quick Access Toolbar. And thirdly, I could alternatively press Control S, which is the shortcut key for Save, as illustrated here. When I click the Save button or use any one of those three methods, the particular window that comes up is called the Save As window. And what Microsoft should have done is stuck a big question mark after the two words Save As. This is the computer's way of asking you, what do you want to save this file as? What it's done is it's grabbed the first line of what I've typed. I'm going to replace that file name with the word Favourites. I'd like to save this as a Word document with the file name Favourites and I'd like to save it on my desktop. In the list of locations that I have on the left hand side, I'm going to click Desktop. You need to be aware of the location and the name of the file when you're saving a file. If I then click the Save button, what I see in my title bar at the top of my screen is the name of the file, Favourites. A document created in Word 2010 has the extension docx. If you ever receive a file, perhaps via email, and you see full stop docx on the end, you can safely assume it's either a Word 2007, Word 2010, or Word 2013 file, and it's in the latest file format. What I'd now like to do is add some more information to my list. If I could spend the day doing anything today, what is your favourite pastime? And then press enter. What I'd like to do is now save this document again, so I hit the save button or control S. When I save this document, I'm not asked what do I want to save it as this time, because the computer already knows that I want to call it favourites and I want to stick it on my desktop so it doesn't ask me any questions. So every time it pops in my head that I should save, I just hit the Save button on my Quick Access Toolbar or Control S and save regularly to update the file with the recent changes. You really can't overdo saving. But if I'm asked to save the file with a different name and in a different location or as a different format, I need to bring up Save As. One of the buttons we added earlier is the Save As button. If I click the drop down to the right of the Save As button, I can choose to save the document as an older version of Word, such as 2003, as a PDF file, or as any other type of file for that matter. If I save as another file type, I could give the file a different name. So I might call it Favorites 2. I'm still saving it as a Word document in the latest file format and I'm calling the file Favourites 2. And I'm still saving it on my desktop. So I'll click the Save button. Now the title bar reflects the fact that I've saved this document as a different name. If you just want to save the changes, hit the Save button. But if you want to save the document as a different name, a different place, Click the Save As button.